The United States will send 3,000 more troops to Ukraine, a provocation that could lead to World War III with Russia. As the security situation on Ukraine's border with Russia continues to deteriorate, the U.S. Pentagon will move some of its Europe-based forces further east and deploy additional U.S.-based troops to Europe, according to a report from CNBC. NBC News also reported that U.S. President Joe Biden will send two troops in the U.S. to Poland and Germany, where they will join other troops. Another one, who are already in Europe, will be moved to Romania, NBC said, citing a senior administration official. These forces are not going to fight in Ukraine. They are not permanent moves. They respond to current conditions, the official told NBC News. The White House didn't immediately respond to a request for comment from CNBC. Tensions of war continue to mount in the U.S. and Europe even after Ukraine's president said the U.S. is fueling the fire of war. Russia has denied it is planning to invade despite massing an estimated one troops along the border. However, as we reported last week, Russia warns it will retaliate if the U.S. and its NATO allies don't stop the preparation for an invasion. Russia is warning the U.S. and its NATO allies that it will retaliate if they don't stay away from its border. On Wednesday, Russia promised to retaliate if the U.S. and its allies do not curb preparation for an invasion and if Ukraine and other ex-Soviet nations are admitted to NATO according to a report from Associated Press. Meanwhile, the nation's highest-ranking military officer and chair of the Joint Chiefs of Staff U.S. Army General Mark Milley said that Russia's posture along Ukraine's border was unlike anything he has seen during his four-decade military career. General Milley also told reporters at the Pentagon on Friday that given the type of forces that are arrayed, the ground maneuver forces, the artillery, the ballistic missiles, the air forces, all of it packaged together. If that was unleashed on Ukraine, it would be significant, very significant, and it would result in a significant amount of casualty. The question some are asking is, is Russia waiting to attack Ukraine after the 222 Winter Olympics in Beijing, China? What would happen if China invades Taiwan and North Korea invades South Korea at the same time Russia invades Ukraine? That means the United States could be fighting wars on three fronts. Considering that the United States could couldn't even defeat a third world like Afghanistan, what makes the U.S. generals think they can defeat nuclear-capable nations like Russia and China? As we reported in the past, a war between the United States and Russia could potentially lead to World War III. Unlike the U.S. invasion of Iraq in 23, Russia has one of the most powerful military arsenals in the world. The likes that will make the bombing of Hiroshima and Nagasaki seems like a child's play. A few years ago, Russia tested Avangard, a new nuclear-capable hypersonic missile that's capable of striking anywhere on the planet and wiping out an area the size of France in less than an hour. The Avangard is just one of the six new Russian strategic weapons unveiled by Russian President Vladimir Putin on March 1, 2018. During a 218 speech, President Putin said the hypersonic intercontinental rocket rocket was capable of traveling two times the speed of sound and could strike like a meteorite. It's like a fireball guided to its target.